Greetings and welcome once again to Music and Meditation with Pastor Fred and Sharon Moore. Thank you, Sharon, for that very appropriate hymn, How Great Thou Art. Because our topic is life-changing miracles. Listen to these words of Scripture. Luke 18, 27. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Did you ever experience what you would discover as a miracle in your life? Something life-saving, life-changing, life-sustaining? I'm convinced of a miracle in my life it involved moving from a small town in Ohio, West Milton, where I had lived for three years. I loved that little town, yes. I'd spent my freshman year there, my sophomore year, and my junior year, and there in that little town of West Milton, and I loved that town. Yes, we've driven through it since, and it's, it's not small anymore. But it's still West Milton. I loved that school. I loved that little town then, West Milton. Yeah. And then my dad was transferred. He was with Kresge. He's in transferred a lot because he was a he was a good manager. He gets stores out of trouble. So we had to move again. But I didn't want to move out of West Milton. No. I love that school. I love that little town. And then my dad said, we're moving. Hmm. Uh, I was not happy. Not happy. But I had no choice but to adjust to the move to Owasso. <laughs> Owasso. I was troubled. I was angry. I was afraid. Afraid of a, a new school. Afraid I would find no friends. Yeah. But I did find one. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a miracle at the Eden Evangelical United Brethren Church, where we started going to church. Always we found a church. Yeah. And I found this young lady. Yes. Sharon. That was a miracle. We fell in love. Age 17. Believe it? Age 17. We were engaged at age 17, married at 18. And we have been married now for 65 years. 65 years. Great years. Yes. Sharon, she's my miracle. Yes, she is my miracle. We've traveled the world. Every summer, we developed video programs that were telecast on local KBTV. The most cherished of all, two visits to Oberammergau and the Passion Play. Oh, it was the second. We went, went there the first time. The play wasn't running yet. Does it every seven years, see? But the next year. So we came back. Yes. We traveled the world every summer, developed video programs, yes, to telecast on local KB TV. But the most, the most cherished was the one to over Amargau and that passion play. Now, we're in our 80s now. We don't travel, no, except to near Mar nearby Walmart for groceries and to church course. But we have those pictures and those videos. Oh my, I did I did a whole television series with the videos. Yes, so we have those. They're on VHS. Got to get them changed. Yeah. Oh, I'm certain that we will all have some sweet memories. Listen to these words from Psalm 77, 
11 through 14. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made your might known among the peoples. So we will indeed remember those wonders of old, Lord. We will ponder all your words and meditate on your mighty deeds. So our way, indeed, can be holy. And he is a God of miracles. He performs both seemingly ordinary and extraordinary miracles in our day. Faithful followers of Jesus have historically experienced yes, dramatic healings and unexplainable successes. However, we should not overlook the everyday events that act as reminders, yes, reminders of God's, God's hand in our lives. Sometimes we just have to stop and recognize them. God performs miracles to manifest his power, to teach spiritual principles, to strengthen our faith. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God and then internalizing that Word of God. That's a miracle. Some of the benefits of internalizing God's Word are these. Listen to what we find in Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And in Psalm 119, I have hidden your word in my heart that it gives us guide divine the guidance and then psalm 119 24 it imparts incredible joy that your testimonies are my delight they are my counselors jeremiah 15 16 your words were found and i ate them and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart for I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. It fills us with the Holy Spirit. Colossians 3.16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. Yes. Teach and Admonish each one in all wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for those reminders of where we should be and where we can be. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now let us pray that prayer together that Jesus taught us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, till we meet again, God be with you, and God bless you. Amen.